just thought I'd give you a, a quick tour um, around Edinburgh Airport as it's uh, very quiet. Um, it's, a, it's a ghost town at the moment, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, but I just thought no many people would get to see the airport in these times with COVID going around. But yeah, I just thought I would uh, show you around Edinburgh Airport and uh, what's going on. Um, there's not much going on, to be perfectly honest. But I thought I would uh, do a quick video because uh, this is very uncertain times at the moment. It is actually the 15th of uh, May. So yeah, um, I just thought I'd do this video just to show you around the place. Um, I'm currently sitting at gate 1A, um, but yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you where I'm at at the moment, and I'll show you around Edinburgh Airport and how quiet it actually is. Hope you enjoy this uh, video, and uh, I'll give you a walking tour of uh, Edinburgh Airport in these quiet times. So this is me sitting at gate 1A. Um, it's very quiet. Um, obviously this area is actually closed at the moment because uh, the Ian Airport do not need to use it. As you can see um, over here at this section here, this is in front of the airport. This is the express testing um, for COVID tests for when they go on their flight. Um, if they're going to a country that's in the red and they need these tests done before they go on their flight um, but yeah even looking at the car park and seeing it this empty it's very unusual um, it's not very often you actually get to see the tarmac on a day days like this but yeah there's the, the tower looking amazing as always but yeah very quiet uh, but I'll take a wee wander and we'll go and have a look there's actually a lot of the planes that are actually over this side that are actually parked up and are not in use and um, this is obviously you've got uh, 1A and 1A uh, and you've got 1K there um, but yeah this is obviously very quiet times you can even see that some of the planes have actually got their um, covers over their propellers. Um, but yeah, it's very unusual to see these planes parked up for this amount of time. But yeah, I'll uh, carry on around the airport and I'll just uh, show you around, see what's going on. Usually you would find a paper. them getting their COVID tests all queuing up there um, as I was saying earlier on this uh, this part of the airport is all closed off so um, WH Smith they're all closed down there's no food or anything like that inside there it's all empty We've got uh, not many flights going on at the moment as well, as you can see. It's very quiet. Anyway, it's, uh, some places are in darkness because they're not needed to be opened. 
But yeah, that's a Spire Lounge. That's very, it's very eerie walking around Edinburgh Airport and seeing this. Because I don't think you'd ever get to see Edinburgh Airport like this. Um, British Airway Lounge. I bet it all closed as well. And no one knows when it's going to open again, but... Um, and even bars. I don't know if um, the bars will be open on Monday, but it's not been confirmed if these bars will be open. Um, because Scotland have just went into um, number stage two, which will be uh, very interesting. We've got Barbarito. Barbarito is closed down as well. At the moment, yeah, there's not really a, not really much going on. Over here, there used to be eat. And uh, they've closed that down. So this is gate six, but it's very quiet. There's, uh, they're not using very many gates, to be fair, because there's not that many flights going out or even coming in. Uh, you can see in the background there. Flying to more oh. destinations than any other Rail Scottish bridges. airport. Uh, Edinburgh Airport awesome. is where Scotland meets the world. Visit edinburghairport.com to discover our latest routes and destinations. But yeah, we'll carry on walking back. Back towards the main terminal. Well, the main departures. But yeah, I don't know when this will open again. I don't know if they were talking about Monday, but like I say, it's not guaranteed. Yeah, it's very unusual. The things that the uh, Edinburgh Airport have taken out. There used to be a a bar, bar sushi, um, a sushi bar there, um, but that's been taken away. Eat, that's going away, taking that away. The only places that are open is Cafe Nero um, for coffee and some hot food. Um, but all these other stores, like Boss, Cut Geiger, these are all closed. coming up soon for somebody, someone's flight. Flips and tails, they're uh, being closed down. Michael Kors, they're all closed down. We've got W. H. Smith over the other side there, that's open. It's uh, one of the only shops that are open at the moment. over here. Uh, this is a new boot store. So this is actually just opened maybe three, four weeks ago. So this is uh, this used to be super drunk. Uh, and this is uh, a new store that's just opened. Um, obviously that's your duty free duty free area through there. Uh, Mac is closed at the moment. Next uh, fat face is closed. Um, over the other side here, you've got a uh, JID, and um, we've heard that accessorise they are actually um, shut down. Most 
fat face, they are not coming back in, as far as we've been told. And all Dixon travel shops are actually um, going to be taken out of all airports, as far as we're aware. Um, as we follow the path all the way to the other side, you've got Costa here that's open, and then you've got this is Willerspoons, looks very uh, derelict. This is actually quite a new Willerspoons as well, but obviously, this was just open just before Covid started. Um, a brand new. Willow spoons, but yeah, not much going on there. We've got a crispy cream stand here. Don't know if they'll be coming back. And then we've got a, as we fall on along here, you've got a Hudson and Grill, which is a, a burger burger place that does breakfast and things like that uh, we don't know if that will be open on the Monday now that we're in uh, two then you've got uh, Heritage of Scotland that's uh, a newer shop and you've got the body shop as well on the corner there and uh, as we go further along here we've got Burger King everyone's favourite when they get to the airport but same again derelict and then if we carry on along here you've got a it's a Harry Potter store it's got all Harry Potter things but yeah it's a it's a different world in it yeah that's a Harry Potter store and then there's just follow, follow the path so then you've got the uh, Cafe Nero Cafe Nero is probably one of the only ones I'll put the other one at the other side over this side it's open so you come up to you've got Brew Dog hopefully that opens on uh, Monday yeah, very unusual to see it like that. Um, but yeah, it needs a good clean because uh, it's been closed since March last year. You have got Pret, but Pret's uh, not open as yet. They will be opening soon. Um, and then you've got obviously, you've got Gate 15 to 16 and you've got 13 and 14 over the other side here. Very different place. Far ahead in the airport. But yeah. So we're heading, heading out the way. Over this side you've got your reserved seating area and that's for holding the if you need any support. And then obviously you have your I've just went the wrong way obviously. <laughs> And then you've got your, this is obviously your baggage claim, reclaim, uh, and W. Smith. That has actually been open, but um, it's not open at the moment. But yeah, this is domestic arrivals, and you head it this way. So this is uh, your baggage reclaim. Safety. Yeah, 
very quiet. It's very unusual to see the airport like that. And then you, this is obviously the exit. So just as you come out, domestic arrivals, you've got Costa, that's a wee small one, luggage shop, and you have a Euro Exchange which is closed in MS, and they are actually closed at the moment. We don't know when they'll open up either, but it's over that side you've got uh, Starbucks, and they are closed as well. So this is your check-ins and this is uh, very much a delicate airport it's so quiet it's very unusual to see Edinburgh airport like this and it's all quiet Very unusual to see this. I keep on saying that, but it's, it's, it blows my mind because I have actually been in Edinburgh Airport for seven years. But it's not very often you get to see it like this. So, there you go, folks. I uh, hope you enjoyed that quick little video. I just wanted to show you what's been going on in Edinburgh Airport and show you how quiet it is. I feel it's a, it's a shame for the travel industry still no picking up, especially now that it's like the 15th of May and uh, we are still struggling. So hopefully it gets better now that we're uh, in tier two and we get in more flights. Uh, it's at this point in time, I think it's only uh, Portugal that's really the place to be going on holiday at the moment but you never know in the future it changes daily so I hope you enjoyed today's vlog um, and quick little update and I will hear from you all very soon please leave a comment uh, if you like this video and uh, give me give me a little update that would be lovely and uh, thanks very much for watching and I will see you all very soon Bye.